Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I want to talk about shooting weddings with Olympus OMD system. I have been shooting weddings with Olympus OMD system for more than five years now and never once has the system failed me and never once have my clients told me that they were not happy with the images. And to be honest, the camera has always done a fantastic job nailing the crucial moments, delivering fantastic results again and again. And yet, if you go to online discussions, many people will point out quickly that the micro photo system or any mirrorless cameras are not on par with DSLRs or professional cameras when it comes to such a demanding shooting environment. For example, wedding photography. They'll complain that you can't achieve enough background blur, you can't shoot in very dim environment, in low light where you need to raise your eyes or you get a lot of noise issues. They'll complain that the camera can't even focus or capture critical moments. I'm here to tell you otherwise. I'm here to tell you that I have been shooting for years using Olympus OMD and I'm perfectly happy with the system. The main reason I love Olympus OMD system when it comes to wedding photography is the fact that the cameras and lenses are very small, very light and very compact. Wedding photography is a gruesome job. Most of the time we start shooting very early in the morning on actual day weddings. We start as early as 5 o'clock in the morning before the sunrise and we end the shooting session sometimes close to midnight. It is a full day shoot. Imagine if your camera bag is much heavier and much bigger. It will be so much more difficult to lug around the weight everywhere with you all day long. This is my camera bag. It's a medium-sized shoulder design. I want to show you what I carry for my typical wedding shoot. I always carry with me a small bottle of whiskey, just in case I have to deal with a bridezilla. If you don't know what a bridezilla is, you have not done wedding photography enough. Do a bit more and you'll definitely encounter one. All right, this is my main camera, EM1 Mark II. But let's see how I fit everything uh, in this bag. I'll just dismantle everything. This is a cheap bag I got from a China website. It's a no-brand bag, but it is very sturdily built. All right, at the side here, I have my flash units. I always carry a spare of everything. That's the FL50R and FL600R. I use FL50R most of the time. I carry double of everything just in case you know something breaks down i have something else to use all right let's take this partition out so that we can see everything more clearly i can fit a lot of stuff in this bag you'll be surprised here's my main camera sits nicely in the middle em1 mark ii the omd and the 1240 mm lens the 1240 mm is my backup lens it is not my main lens now here's my backup camera the original em1 from 2013 it was my main camera until the em1 mark ii came along now this is 25 1.2 my most used lens for any weddings these days that's the 714 i don't use this a lot but it is necessary for a lot of shots as well that's 40 1.8 my favorite lens and can give you that nice creamy bouquet all right let's put everything aside and let's see how much all this weighs now you can see that all of this in total all of this weigh less than five kilograms together with the back together with spare batteries together with everything else including that small bottle of whiskey less than five kilograms being a wedding photographer it is extremely important to be agile at all times something may happen across the room at any time so it is very crucial that you are able to maneuver yourself quickly and run across the room to get that shot now having a lighter bag and a lighter system will definitely help you to move much quicker and respond to that spontaneous moment
some photographers have misconception that mirrorless cameras have poor autofocus causing you to miss crucial shots when it comes to wedding photography. Hey, it is 2019. Any camera released this year or the year before or the year before that, any new cameras have fantastic autofocus system. The Olympus OND system have blazing fast autofocus. It is so fast and reliable that if I miss certain shots or if that photograph is out of focus, it is not the camera's fault. I will not blame the camera. It is my fault for not reacting quick enough. It is my fault for not having that fast reflex to respond when I see something happening. It is not the camera. Don't blame the camera. Perhaps the most popular complaint when it comes to Micro Four Third system is the lack of background blur. Yes, using Micro Four Third system, you achieve more depth of field, twice as much as 35mm full frame format. And I acknowledge that it is extremely important to have the ability to blur the background when shooting a wedding. Sometimes there's just too much happening in the background, it's, it's distracting. The ability to just blur it off and just make your main subject pop. Isolating the main subject can definitely improve that particular photograph. Now here is the good news. Olympus have a fantastic range of prime lenses or you can even use the 40 to 150 f2.8 pro alongside an assortment of say 45 mm f1.8 and 75 mm f1.8 lens to create dreamy blurry background i personally use 25 1.2 45 1.8 and sometimes the 75 mm 1.8 to achieve such blur background effect Some people shy away from micro photo system because of the poor dynamic range. From my personal experience, anything that is two stops underexposed or two stops overexposed, I can easily recover the details from the highlight and shadow region. Not a problem to achieve a balanced image. However, I mean, if you underexpose your images more than two stops, say you underexpose by four or five stops, really, dude. What are you doing with the camera? How the hell are you underexposing by five stops when you shoot a photograph for a wedding? Five stops, really? This is an example of a severely overexposed image. The sky was overblown. Now I would drop the exposure down to more than minus two, <laughs> more than two stops. And you can see there's a lot of detail being revealed in the sky, right? You see the clouds clear, I'll tone down the highlights further, then I'll increase the shadow to get that balanced look. Now you see, it was an overexposed image and I can easily balance it in post-processing. Another worry when it comes to using Micro Four Thirds is shooting in very low light condition. Yes, it is a big challenge. If the image sensor is much smaller than FPS in full frame, the performance is inferior. You will not get clean results when you shoot in very low light conditions. Here is something that I need to share with you. Never once have my clients come to me and told me that their photographs were too noisy. In fact, they have never come to me and told me that they were looking at the noise in their images. All they were focusing on were the crucial moments, the hugs, the kisses, the happy faces, the smiles, the laughters. Those crucial moments are what make a good wedding photography. Not noise, not clean performance. But hey, if you really need to care about clean results and high ISO noise, 
then again, same advice I can give you is to invest in some prime lenses using f1.2 and f1.8 lenses allows your lens to gather more light and you do not have to bump up your ISO numbers that high. That will give you much better results. Also, another tip, use flash. Bounce flash will give you much better skin tone and it gives you the boost of light to counter very dim shooting condition. Use prime lenses and flash. You shouldn't have to worry about shooting in too challenging low light conditions. the clients will not be obsessing about high ISO noise, whether your images are having high megapixel counts or the lack of dynamic range, the overblown skies or the crushed shadows. They don't care about all these things. They want to see those critical happy moments in the photographs. It is your talent, your style, and how fast you are as a photographer to react to those critical moments and deliver fantastic, beautiful results to the couple. It is not about how the camera performs, it is about you, the photographer, capturing beautiful photographs. If you are shooting with Olympus Micro Four Thirds system, I hope that you have more faith in your system. I hope that this video has encouraged you, inspired you to take your camera and go out and have more confidence in getting the shot. I'm a wedding photographer and if you are a wedding photographer as well, I would love to hear what you think of the Micro Four Thirds system and please share your stories in the comments below. I have shared many photographs from my previous jobs and I hope that you see Micro Four Thirds system or Olympus OMD system can deliver great results when it comes to wedding photography. Until next time, please go out and shoot more photographs. Bye-bye.